I'm here today to talk about WMG's capability in reverse engineering, which is a complete process of taking an object, laser scanning that object, creating a digital prototype within the computer, and then we can use that data for a wide number of applications. We can use it for advanced visualisation, where we can render in 3D visualisation packages. We can use it in rapid prototyping and manufacture. We can also use this data as a quality control method where we can measure the component and calculate all the critical dimensions. So how laser scanning works is we collect what is a point cloud. We use a laser to scan over the object and it collects up to 80,000 points a second and this then goes into, a, into the computer as a, as, a, as a large collection of individual points which defines the external geometry of the object. After cleaning up that data and rationalising that data cloud we then create a mesh or a surface mesh and this creates a digital prototype which is, we can be used for a large number of different techniques and operations. Everybody's familiar with 2D printing that we have in the office but 3D printing is just the same, adding a third dimension. You take layers, successively stack these layers of 2D printed material and build them up into a 3D object. One of the really exciting applications of this technology in WMG is how we've scanned a Formula One nose cone. We've then taken that scanned data and reproduced that nose cone using advanced 3D printing technologies to manufacture real objects. We can 3D print in a wide range of materials, including polymers, ceramics and metals. Some of the metals include titanium, titanium alloys, cobalt chrome, stainless steel even. These technologies have the capability to produce detail down to the third the width of the human hair. This precision allows us to apply these technologies to many sectors. We're looking to move into healthcare technology, into aerospace, automotive and motorsport. So really make significant advances in these exciting growth areas.